look how beautiful the detailing is on this mallard duck. Hi, this is Dina with Left Lane Finds and welcome back to my channel. I am a part-time reseller on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. And on my YouTube channel here, I have challenged myself to do a hundred videos in a hundred days. And boy, has it been challenging. Now, about a week or so ago, I did a video on Otagiri and I went over some of the items that I have and uh, also the, the history of uh, the company. Well, I found a few more items that didn't make it to that video. So I'm putting them in this one. The first thing I notice about all of these items is they have a theme to them. They are all birds. We got penguins, the mallard duck, and the Canadian goose. Now, Otagiri has lots and lots of themes, but it's just ironic that these all just happen to be birds. Let me turn it over and show you the bottom of it. This one was designed for the Gibson Greeting Card Company. It does say Otagiri uh, Japan on it, and it has the four diamond uh, type of flower uh, logo, and you'll see that a lot. So this one is printed on the bottom. It does have the raised glazed geese on there. You can feel it with your finger. It's definitely going to be hard to show you on, you know, film here, but you can definitely feel like these branches are like cut into the mug and that is definitely how they made uh, the Otagiri mugs. Now this one doesn't have the brown han handle on it, but it's still Otagiri. Look how beautiful the detailing is on this mallard duck. Just beautiful coloring. I just love him. I love the size of him and his colors. And if you watched my other video, the Otagiri one, I talked about the music boxes that Otagiri made. And sure enough, this one is a music box. It's got the on and off switch there, and then you can wind it up. And then it has, says there, Memory Otagiri Japan. I just thought this was so unique. I think it's beautiful just as, as is. It doesn't have to be played as a music box. This is a stoneware mug with the emperor, I think they're emperor, right? Emperor penguins on there. You guys can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Isn't this just awesome? It's got the brown ring there. You can see the speckled stoneware. It does not have the brown on the handle. So not all Otagiri mugs have that. Now, it has a foil sticker on it, but it's completely rubbed off. There's just faint, very faint. You can not read that at all. And that's because, you know, people use these mugs and they wash them. Um, they're hand washing them for the most part. Because I think if you put this through the dishwasher, that would have been completely gone. But that's what makes it hard sometimes to identify things. But the shape of that label lets you know that it's Otagiri. I'm doing all these videos to give out information so that when you're out there sourcing or if you're a collector that you would know a little bit more about your collection or if you wanted to start a collection. I'm highlighting some of the items that people like to collect and you might find interesting. You'd be like, huh, I really like the style of that or that's pretty interesting and I'd like to start collecting that. It's just so you can keep your eye out when you're at garage sales or estate sales or the thrift stores. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and put any comments or questions down below and I will catch you guys next time.